Yeah, so okay, okay, right? Yeah. The idea is that after power two, right? I want to show that it has a turning point. Turning point means that you want to show that dy dx is zero. Okay, so the idea of showing the turning point is you want to show that uh, dy dx is equal to zero. Okay, so uh, to what they want you to do is to be able to break down the question. Is they want to show that at the origin zero comma zero, you have dy dx equals zero. So far okay. Not only that, you must also show you must also show that there is a turning point. Okay, and also and basically there is an existence of a maximum or a minimum point. Okay, so in case I want to share with turning point, just a recap. If you have dy dx equals to zero, then there are three possibilities. One, two, three. One is you can have a maximum point. Two, you can have a minimum point. Three, you can have a yes, very good. You have a stationary point. Of inflection. So, uh, stationary point of inflection is not a turning point. I call it a turning point. So, it's not a turning point. Okay, but, can I? So, in case you stop at proving d1 gates equals to zero, not enough. You also need to go on to show that it's a maximum or minimum point. Okay? So, you realize that these two words are very loaded. Uh, the two words are actually if you set quite long. Okay, so the first part, what we need to do, definitely uh, the way to go about doing this is we have to differentiate first. Uh, okay, I'll start differentiate x square over dx minus a. Uh, let me just jump to where, where I was. Okay, so you see, uh, this is my dy dx. This is my dy dx. Uh, after, yeah, this is the dy dx. Okay, dx square minus 2ax. This is the final, final. The final, final dividend. So for, for y equals to ax squared over ax minus a, you should get your dy dx. Your dy dx is abx squared minus 2a squared x over bx minus a squared. Okay, this is for question two. So you want to show that there's a turning point. This I want this at x equals to zero, y equals to zero. I need two things to happen. First, I must show that at this point, dy dx is zero. Okay, so very simple. If you start x equals to zero, you can see your dy dx. Uh, a b zero square zero. Okay, but once I reach here, don't stop. We have common mistakes. Before we should stop. Ah, this is turning point. You want dx equals zero is turning point, which is very wrong. Ah. Doesn't mean that. It can also be, it could be maximum, it could be minimum, it could be point of inflection. Point of inflection, then uh, we are wrong. Ah. So, what do I need to do next? I need to go on somewhere. Okay, so, uh, it, it looks a bit challenging to do first variability. Ah. So I may do second derivative. Also, I may do second derivative, which is also hard. So, uh, where is it? Sorry. So I just want to show you what. Okay. So work, you work the next part. The next checkpoint uh, after you differentiate, you differentiate really uh, zero. Then after that. Differentiate one more time. Your d2y dx square should be 2a cube over dx minus a cube. Okay, I will show the differentiation part. Is that okay? I think that that's this. So you get this one. Again, if you sub x equals to 0, then d2y dx square just be 
is yang 2AQ 0, B times 0 is 0 which is uh, minus 2 which is less than 0 so with that, with that, this is 0 means your second derivative to be negative therefore let's see that the 0, 0 is
compare more, compare and see. A, sorry, five times square. If you compare and see, what is A? A is five. What is B? Six. Okay. Then, uh, uh, so most importantly, you also know that they are positive integers with no common factors. So A and B are unique. A and B are unique. Even you, you, you cannot write this, huh? you cannot write uh, you cannot write this. You cannot write 10 x squared over 12 x minus 10. Even though they are equivalent. You cannot write you cannot write 50 x squared over 60 x uh, x minus 50. Even though they are equivalent. Because uh, A and B have no common factor. Okay, so that's why we realize they ask you to they actually put up the fact that the clause that no common factor is to eliminate ambiguity like this one and this one. See okay. I think this is just limit the score. Okay. So this might be the part that a lot of you are stuck on. Because I also try doing myself without looking at the answer. But this part I look at the answer. <laughs> okay. Minus 5, 4, 27. This is 
pi over 3 cube plus a pi over 3 square plus b. Okay, also we can simplify this part now. Okay. This portion I differentiate uh, dy dx equals to 3x squared plus 2ax plus b. Okay, sub dy dx will be 0, 3, 5 over 3 squared plus 2a, 5 over 3 plus b. What's 5 over 3 squared? That will be 25 over 9. 25 over 9. So this is 3 times 25 over 9. 2a, 10a over 3 plus b equals to 0. So how okay? Can I cancel, cancel? This is 3. 25 over 3 plus 10a over 3 plus b so 0. I see your texture I thought go in like it. So I'm going to multiply by 3.
you suck x equals to uh, x equals to five over t divide dx equals to zero. You get a second equation in terms of a. Okay. Finally, which solve it.
But if I reverse back, then you know, pro probiotics, antibiotics, pro Japanese, anti Japanese, pro pro and anti. So differentiation derivative, anti derivative. We call this the anti derivative. Okay, this is why we call anti derivative. Or sometimes we call this the integral. Okay, or the integral. Okay, we call it the integral. Okay, but, 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 one thing is, uh, okay, maybe I ask because if I differentiate x squared, what will I get? Then if I differentiate x squared plus 5, what will I get? If I differentiate, x squared, if I differentiate x squared plus 1 million, how will I get it? You know? So, what does it tell you? In differentiation, right, there's the impossible existence of a constant who we have passed away to you. So, in integration, we call it C. <laughs> this C, so you, that's, that's why you realize that in integration there's always this C line around. There's this C line around. So think about it. It can be zero like this. Okay, ma? Can I add that? Uh, very quickly in integration, right? Hey, you are too like not first. Okay, so there is a, there's a, a punctuation. You okay, can notice in differentiation this is the, the simple, right? The punctuation, right? Integration up to you, right? So if I want to integrate uh, 2x plus c, okay, I'll do it. Sorry, you differentiate x plus c, that means 2x. So for example, if I want to integrate, let's say if I want to integrate 2x, huh? if I want to integrate x, okay, or x cube, huh? the punctuation is just like in sentence we start at character letter like that. So integration, we'll write this, huh? we'll write like a uh, what is it? A B or say no, a triple or a, a fat S or a long S. Okay. Integrate with respect to X. Okay, man. This one means integrate with respect to X. Shall 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 you laughing? Okay, no laughing at this one. See for someone outside. Okay, for one man outside. Okay, so and also this integrate X with respect. To X. Okay, man. Can man easy man. So, so, which will bring us to the first, the first uh, formula, which I will share with you is, you know, if I differentiate uh, x to the power of n plus 1 and all, what will this give us? Because, Is it correct? 
if I integrate 5x power 4, I get plus c. Can I? Can I? So can I also say that if I integrate, if I divide both sides by 5? That's okay? Can? So can I also do the, do the, do the, can also do the part time. Yeah. So c, can I do this? C over 5 but it's arbitrary. It's still C uh, out. Okay? So I can that's why I say integrate x power n is n power 5 over 5 plus. In a, in a way, why do you have this? Because you are reversing integration. In differentiation, right? Power multiplies, then power subtract. So this is in differentiation, step one, step two. So in, in integration, right? You realize that to counter this, to counter this, right? Power, to reverse this huh, from the back, power plus one, then power divides. So you realize the power plus one, then the power divides. Okay, man? Can I? So, integration, this is the first formula, which will allow you to do question for one. Okay? Who is stuck at 1.2? Are you stuck at 1.2? Okay, so can I, can I start at 1.2? Okay, let's start at 1.2. Those who are stuck at 1.2 are stuck. Okay, so let's start at 1.2. Okay, can I start at 1.2? 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 Okay, here again, uh, if you find this very disgusting, you just remember it is nothing but reversing differentiation. Okay, uh? It's just like you throw out all the body balls, now you're correct in that sense. That's all. Okay? So, you all remember if I differentiate 2x plus 5 power 7. I will get 7 times 2x plus 5, the power of 6, multiplied by 2, can I? So, can I also say that if I differentiate fx to the power of n, this is n fx to the power of n plus 1, this is n plus 1, multiplied by and multiply by f prime. So what I'm doing is I'm literally matching up. This is my fx. This is my n plus one. This is my n plus one. This is my fx. This is my n. This is my f prime. Does it does it connect with you? Does it connect with you? So far okay. So can I also say that in this banner? All right, huh? See if I just copy this entire thing. Does it also make sense if I say that I integrate this? This will give me this. Is that just for us? Yeah. Some arbitrary constant that may have passed away during differentiation becomes zero here. Then if I dif differentiate left, I get the right. If I integrate the right, can I also get back the left? Cannot, cannot. Okay. Then this two, can I divide over? Can I divide over? So I can divide over now. So, uh, so we... Yeah, so I mean, okay, so we need to do something like that. It is the okay. So let me show you an example. Huh? Let me show you an example.
Let's say I want something like this. Huh? Can I do this? 
cannot, huh? cannot. Okay? You can only self-create a constant. You cannot self-create a variable. Okay? So this is illegal. This is illegal. Okay? So tell your friend on the left and right squeeze his arm, crush a dream, and tell her you can only self-create a constant. Okay, huh? so, so this is illegal. So you notice why is it in question 1.2, right? The F prime is provided for you. It's provided for you. Okay? okay. That should help you for 1.2. That should help So give 1.2 a try. If you are still stuck, I'll come to you. I will not talk anymore. I will not talk anymore. 